Hey traders, this is Christian Freimert, CEO of the Tribeca Trade Group, with a quick video on a little bit about Tribeca Trade Group. Uh, I shoot a lot of videos uh, every day. We do a market video, we do a weekend market video, but uh, I seldom take a step back and just kind of give you a quick explanation of what you get with being a member at Tribeca Trade Group. So if you've been a member, if you tried us before, or if you've never tried us before, um, this video will give you just a quick summary about what we're all about and what we do at Tribeca Trade Group. So, you know, my, my background is institutional trading. I traded for, um, you know, I've been trading since basically 1990. 1999, where I started off as a financial advisor, then I moved to an institutional trading desk, and I was a senior uh, senior trader. I was a director at Merrill Lynch on both the the Delta One trading side as well as ETF trading side. So one of the things that I really love about institutional trading is being part of a trading desk and and collaborating with ideas. So what I've done is I basically created a company that does that, where everybody specializes, either everybody specializes in something, everybody's trying to help each other, we're all working as a team. So number one, that, you know, that's really what, what we're, we're trying to do. And I'm also trying to bring, you know, when I was an institutional trader, I had a lot of different tools that I used, a lot of access to information. I'm also trying to provide that to retail investors. So I use things like Trade Alert. I use things like Bloomberg. You know, these are things that um, that cost money to have, but I try to pull the information for you from these resources so that you could have the same exact type type of information at your fingertips. So what so what do we do on a daily basis? Um, we're looking, we're reading the tape, we're, we're looking for trade flow. I'm looking for ideas uh, by, by analyzing flow, both in ETF flows, both on options and cash, and I'm also looking for big option trades. So I'm looking for ideas. I'm looking for something that fits my trading system. Uh, you know, a lot of times we'll, we'll, you know, we'll put together a whole list of of unusual option activity or aggressive option activity. And it doesn't mean I'm going to take every single trade. I'm going to wait for my pitch. I'm going to wait to see if these trades fit my fit my trading system, if it fits the technicals that I'm watching, if it fits the sectors that I'm watching. So these are all things uh, that we do on a day-to-day -day basis. So really good if you're, if you're a full-time trader, you could see this live. You can get access to our systems and, and you could see this as, as we go along. You can get real-time alerts and so forth. If you're a part-time trader, if, if you work full-time and trading is not something that you could do all throughout the day, you know, what we have is a, is a trading platform. <clears throat> we, use, uh, we use Slack where I can pull information to you so you could quickly get and, and find out what we've traded. So, you know, in the beginning of the day, you could see every, and you can set this up so that you can get alerts on economics that are coming out. This way you're never surprised when, when an economic report comes out, you know, in advance when the oil numbers come out, you know, in advance when retail sales comes out. And then, uh, you know, if, if you're trying to catch up a little bit, you can go into our trades channel and you could see all the trades that I've taken in a given day. You could also set this up so that you get an alert. Um, in, in Slack. So this is, you know, obviously connected to the internet. Um, so besides getting text alerts, uh, you could also get alerts right through here, or you could quickly come in and say, hey, what is, what has he been up to? What, what is he trading today? And um, so you could see all, all my entries and all my targets. Um, you could also see, you know, we do our homework. Uh, we do homework basically every night. So I'm posting charts, I'm posting trends, I'm posting things that are interesting. Like this weekend, I'm talking about how the euro is starting to break out, break above the 200 day moving average and then vice versa uh, the US dollar is moving down so these are all things that um, you know I'll post at night if I'm looking at particular if I'm looking at restaurant stocks or if I'm looking at semis um, you could see this all through this uh, channel that we have analysis and charts um, you could also see what we're talking about in the trading room every day this is what we're posting trades and and we're taking trades and you could see this all in in the group chat also, you know, I'm not only trading options, but I'm also trading cash. Uh, certain trades I'm going to like for more long term, if the setup's right. Um, you know, I'm going to put trades, I'm going to go ahead and put trades uh, on in cash. Every trade that I take here is we've, you know, what, what we've really been doing here in the last few months is really setting up a trading plan for people where, Every time I enter into a trade, I know exactly where I'm going to get out of it. Every trader should have that in their system. They should know where the trade, if it doesn't work, uh, where they take it off. So 
and I have a spreadsheet here. I'm not gonna um, I'm not gonna zoom in because these, this is for you have to be a member to see this. But on every one of these trades that I have on, I know I have the exit price listed, so I know exactly my bail point where I'm gonna get out of a trade, and I've got reasons for putting each trade on. I've also got a watch list here as well. But um, this you could see real time. You could see my positions um, at the end of the day. You could see it during the day, and and you know what I'm thinking, why I've, I'm taking a position, what I'm looking at, what I'm looking at in the tech. Uh, and then also I've got something, I've got stop prices monitored that's linked up to, to a real-time spreadsheet that'll tell me very unemotionally whether to get out of something. Um, so that's the one system we have. We also send out also all of our option positions. You know, and we've kind of, I've kind of changed this around a little bit um, where, you know, I'm doing things on a smaller scale for 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 all investors. So sometimes, you know, if it's something like Chipotle or if it's something like Tesla, I may take a one or two lot um, where I'm looking to, you know, $500 trade and I'm looking to make $2,000. We've had a lot of su success with those type of trades in the last couple months. So I want to give you a couple examples, you know, of a trade that I talked about in the newsletter, just so you can get a feel of, of what we're doing on a daily basis. Um, we also send out a very comprehensive newsletter that gets you ready for the week so that you know all the movers, all the action that happened last week, where the money is going into, which this week all the money has been going into Europe um, ahead of the election. Uh, some of the biggest inflows that we've ever seen was $2.1 billion that went into European equities last week. This is something we've been all over. Uh, we've been in European equities over the last two months, actually taking money off a little bit because I think it might be a sell the news event, but um, nevertheless, very close to doubles. We've, we've hit um, you know 100% gains in some of these European ETFs that we've had on so, you know, just a, just a quick example of, of, you know, a trade. A lot of people talk about winners all the time. I want to talk about, you know, some of our losers as well, because you can learn from them. And what we do at Tribeca Trade Group is try to really simplify your trading. Some people really uh, kind of... Clap, they, they use their judgment, they use, they're looking at politics, all things that can kind of cloud your head. Um, when we take a trade, for, for example, gold, GLD, I took a trade uh, just not last Friday, but the Friday before when gold broke the 200 day moving average. Then it started to uh, retest. So once it retested the 200 day moving average, I took it as a long. And I knew very well that if it didn't work, my stop is going to be right below the 200 day moving average. So that's basically what happened. Um, you know, small losers, which is which is one of my mottos, small losers, small problems. You're going to have, nobody has straight winners. It's how you react and what your trading plan will tell you to do when something is not, is not working. So having a stop um, already where I thought the trade would not work, you know, basically lost maybe $100 on this trade. Um, I, I think not not even uh, because I knew exactly, I, I defined exactly where I was getting in and, and where I would get out of the trade. Now, if gold reclaims the 200-day moving average, I could get right back into it. Not a big deal either way. But having this plan really separates us, which a lot of traders don't do. Some traders will continue. They're like, oh, well, it broke the 200-day moving average. I think gold's going to be, go, be going up because of political worries. No. We don't do any of that. We talk, We look at a signal, we take it, and then if it doesn't work, we know exactly where to get out of it. So really simplify, you know, people make things, trading way much more complicated than it should be. We take the emotion out of trading and we look at signals and then also a, a very defined trading system that we have in place. And then for technicals that I look at, I'll look at, again, keeping it very simple. I see other trading rooms try to teach S&P futures trading, not something we will ever do here. Uh, S&P futures trading is probably one of the worst things that I could think that you could ever try to do. Um, why is that? Because nobody will have an indicator that is going to tell you when a hedge fund is going to sell $50 million and then be done with it. Um, that's from my trading experience when I used to trade futures and I know how hedge funds trade. They don't trade like a little bit at a time over the day. They trade, hey, I've got a hedge. I'll hedge $50 million. I'll sell it. I'm done. That's what they do. There's no indicator that is going to tell you to predict that. So we look at things like the, the moving averages, something that'll just give you a defined area to get into a stock and then a stop price out of it. Um, I also look at things at value It's very important for shorter term trading and for longer term trading. You know, one of the things that we looked at last week, you know, when to sell an iron condor, 
Um, this was something that when we opened up in value for the week, um, we had our barriers for looking at for breakouts. Um, notice next week we might be starting above the value area. So, you know, this is a more favorable setup for, for going long as we ramped up on Friday. But, you know, another trade that, uh, you know, we, we were looking at last week was what is going on with all of the metals and mining group XME breaking below the 200 day moving average. These are avoids right now. Uh, SLX breaking below the 200 day moving average. However, you know, what I like to do is marry the two between looking at value areas, especially really key support areas. Uh, so if you go to the weekly chart in XME, you could see, for example, what I'm looking at is the value area for all of 2017. Notice we just hit support here. So while I don't like a long right now, um, I don't like a short either unless it actually falls into this support area. So we look at a couple different things. We look at the, the, the big moving averages. We'll also look at value areas because they will really provide some good areas of triggers uh, for basically support, resistance, for breaking out and breaking below. So just walking you through a, a, a couple areas that, that we that we look at. Um, I'll also look, I, I do things, a lot of things that uh, a lot of people don't do. Um, I'll look at ETF fund flows for ideas. Why, why would I look at ETF fund flows? Um, so perfect example, uh, Poland. I know nothing about Polish securities. I know nothing about the Polish government. One thing I did know is that somebody was buying Poland. So if you look at the EPOL ETF, and we look at this in terms of a one-year chart, um, you could see, so I have a master spreadsheet where I will go ahead and pour through all the details. Um, over 1,700 ETFs, I analyze this on a daily basis. I have a spreadsheet that spits out, I run a program in Excel that spits out some values to me, tell me where people are adding money, tells me where people are, uh, where, where they're taking money out of things. So one of the things that we caught, and you could see this on my Twitter page if you search EPOL in my name, you could see that I was talking about uh, Poland a few months back, all, all the way back in late 2016, because people were adding money to it. You could see these green bars. This is inflows. These, these, this is money going into Poland. And I started to look at the chart, and I said, oh, this is kind of interesting. Look at the prices. Actually, it's been going sideways. If you go to look, look at a five-year chart, it was actually going sideways for about two years. And you start to see money starting to being added to it where it really hasn't happened before. Uh, so this was really uh, an interesting pickup. Um, why is this important? Poland is the best performing ET, best performing country year to date. It's up 33%. So we were on top of that. Uh, we were on top of three months ago. We were on top of robotics names uh, because look at all the look at all the fund flows on the right side of the screen and look at all the volume that's been going into robotics names. So not only do we look at the ETF, we break apart the ETF into its components and look at the individual names. So we caught names like MZOR. Uh, we caught names like Teradyne. We caught names like CGNX. Um, and we did a webinar back uh, two months ago on this, uh, on all the names to watch, on all the trends, what's going on inside the names. So that's basically what we do. And we've created a platform for you, either if you're a part-time trader or if you're a full-time trader, you could see all of this. Um, and then and then you could also get things like our recap. You could see, I mean, nobody puts out a rec an end-of-day recap like this, where I really drill down to all the major themes of the day. I give you all the trade entries, whether they were in options, whether they were in cash. I give you all the exits. Uh, I give you the day trades that we did in the trading room. And then I give you a, a whole summary of all the, the most aggressive option activity for the day, puts calls, uh, puts calls and through ETFs itself. So um, it's, it's all there for you. Uh, you know, I don't think anybody puts out the same type of services uh, that we do. So check us out, TribecaTradeGroup.com. Again, a lot of differences. Like if you, if you were a member from prior, um, a lot has changed in the last six months. The platform has changed and, and the services that we are giving investors um, right now is, has changed a lot. So um, if you're new, you could put in uh, code coupon code TTG and you can get half off the first month. And again, that's TribecaTradeGroup.com. Dot com. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. My email is cfromhertz at gmail.com or you can reach me on, on Twitter uh, at, uh, at, at cfromhertz is my Twitter handle. Thanks very much. Have a great weekend.